completed so far. Networking, basic networking we completed. That is the first topic we completed. We in which we discussed about okay different types of network. What is LAN? What is WAN? Okay, what is SAN? What is MAN? Everything we discuss. Then we discussed about topology. We discussed. Apart from that, we discussed about type of communication, different way of communication. Lot of this, lot of concept we discuss. Next, we completed cables. Okay, in cables we discussed about the three type of cable: two separate cable, coaxial cable, or an optical fiber cable. And LAN we are using two separate cable. Okay, in two separate cable we have two types available. Okay, shielded two separate cable and unshielded two separate cable. Again, unshielded two separate cable again classified in three types: straight through cable, crossover cable, and roller cable. For connecting similar device we are using crossover cable. For connecting dissimilar device, we are using straight through cable. Okay, we completed. Then we completed. Okay, networking devices. So we completed networking devices. In networking devices, we discuss about different devices. Okay, uh, we discuss about repeater, hub, switch, router, firewall. We discussed. Okay. So networking devices covered, right? So this topic we cover. Then we covered uh, MAC address and IP address. MAC address and IP address. Okay. So this is the this are the topic we covered so far. Right now we are going to discuss okay LAN configuration, LAN configuration. So when I want to create a LAN, what are things require for me? Okay, I want to create a LAN. How LAN look like? LAN is such a local area network. Network in a small geographical location is called as LAN. Network in a small geographical location is called as LAN. Okay, in network in a small geographical location. Here, the device, okay, are interconnected with each other. So, what are things required for me to doing a LAN configuration? LAN configuration here, LAN here, local LAN configuration. LAN configuration, local area network. So if you want to do LAN configuration here, LAN we know, lot of LAN here, local area network, network in a small geographical location. So what are things required for me in LAN here? We require, okay, networking devices, okay, when you say networking devices, here end user device also applicable, okay, that means what? It may be PC, laptop is required. So we require PC here, right? Multiple PC required for me. So I can say here, I want to take four PC here. Okay, multiple PC record for here. PC record. So then what is required for me? Networking device. In networking device, we need switch. Okay, LAN. LAN means switch is a LAN device. We need switch here. So this is nothing but the switch. Okay. So apart from that, switch here. Then what is required for me? Cable. We require a cable here. So, if you want to connect a uh, dissimilar device, okay, straight through cable, okay, LAN cable, we have to use LAN cable, LAN cable, clear? Yeah. Then we, okay, we require, we require IP address, okay, for all the devices. So, I want to assign here 10.0.0.10 here, okay, then other PC, it's a LAN, right? We should be in the same network. So, it should be 10 20 here. All should be in the same network. I, I, I am assigning here with the class A address. Here 10 30. Here 10 40. So connected. All the devices have been connected to multiple ports. Might be port 1, port 2, port 3, port 4. All the devices are connected here. Next thing, I want to check the connectivity. What are the command to for checking the connectivity here? Ping command has been used for checking the connectivity, right? Ping command. Ping command has been used for checking the connectivity. So, what I have to do? I can open a PC here. Okay, first PC. I can open a PC here. 10.0.10. I can go to the command prompt. You know how to go to the command prompt, right? Windows R button. Windows R button. We have to type CMD. Command prompt. It will open a command prompt. So, you can log into the PC here. In the PC, okay, ping command. You are going to apply a ping command here. So, ping. 
Okay, the remote PC. What is the PC available? 10 to 10. Okay, 10 to 10 is your PC. 10 to 20, 10 to 30, and 10 to 40. You are checking the connectivity. So, how to type here? 10 to 20. Okay, you are typing. If you press enter key, you have to get what? Reply from. Okay, how do you reply from comes here? We will see here. Reply from. It will get reply from. Okay, reply from, reply from, will get it. So, I want to check the connectivity with my Google server. Okay, we know about, we discussed about ping command, right? Ping command means what? Okay, ping has been used for checking the connectivity. Okay, it send a request. A response will be coming from your, coming from your server or device, other device. Okay, so we can see here how it look like. I open a command prompt here. Okay, Windows or button, open a command prompt, go to command prompt here. I want to check the connectivity with my Google server. Okay, I connect, it's already connected with internet, right? So, Google server. So, ping command, google.com. I am typing ping google.com, I am typing, right? I am getting what? Reply from, reply from, I am getting, right? So, I am getting four reply, right? You can see here, I am getting four reply, right? Okay, four reply. If I apply ping command, I am getting four reply. Okay, clear? Go to my command prompt. I am typing ping command here. Here, you can see request and response also you are getting, right? Okay. So, ping here. Okay. Ping google.com. You are getting reply from. Reply from you are getting. Same as I want to do here with respect to my device here. I will open the 10.0.10 10 10 PC. I am going to type ping 10.0. Okay, 10.0.20. I want to type 10.0.20 here. So, same thing I want to do. So, I can say uh, PC. Okay, PC. 10.0.10 10 here. This is the PC here. I can open a command prompt. Okay, CMD. I can open a command prompt here. In this command prompt, I am typing ping 10.0.20. 10 10 so, what will get? I will. What, what is the information I will get here? Reply from, reply from 10.0.20. Okay, I understood here. Reply from 10.0.20. Reply from 10.0.20. Reply from 10.0.20. Okay. So, reply from 10.0.20. If I get the information, this means what? Success. Okay. Actually, what's happening here? Okay. If I apply ping command, ICMP. ICMP echo request. Okay, you can see here ICMP echo echo request has been sent from source to destination. Okay, echo request from source to destination. Destination ICMP echo request from source to destination here. Okay, source to destination. I'm sending request. Okay, how many requests I'm sending? Four requests I'm sending. Okay, so ICMP echo request. Four requests I am sending here. It's two, three, four. Four requests I am sending. Okay, clear. So what I will get here? I simply echo reply. Reply from destination. Okay. I simply echo reply from destination to source. I will get it. Okay. So if I apply this command, I simply echo a reply from. A reply from destination. Destination to source. Okay, similarly, four reply will get it. Four because I'm sending four requests, right? So I'll get four reply. Four reply. One, two, three. Four reply will get. It. Okay, I'm sending the request. I'm getting reply. But if I send a request here, okay, the request we cannot see in command prompt. Okay, only we can see the reply. That's what we are having. A reply from reply from reply from reply. Okay, if I receive one reply from also, considered to be a success only. Okay, clear? Connectivity is available if I get only one reply also. Suppose if I say ping 10 20, sometimes you will get only one reply. Other things may be request time or something. One, if I get only one reply also, success only. Sir, this is called a success, right? I told you this is nothing but your success. Okay, this is nothing but success here. This is called success. Okay? What about failure? Failure. Suppose a request time mode okay the device is not available there what you will get it here request time mode 
destination host unreachable. This information will get it. Same command here. Suppose if you apply, okay, a request instead of request time, uh, instead of reply from here, request time out. Request time out. Request time out. Or destination. Destination host unreachable. Okay. If you go to like this, destination host unreachable is nothing but what? It's nothing but failure. Failure. Consider to be failure. Okay. Consider to be failure. Clear? If I type ping 10 if I type ping 10 20, you are connecting from your PC to, you are sending request from your PC to other PC. If you are getting reply, success. If you are not getting reply, fail. You are sending some request packet, you have to receive the reply. If you are not getting reply, it is a failure only. It is not success. Is it clear? Okay. Now, same thing in the networking devices. If I go for a router, if I go for switch, if I apply ping command with other devices, how the success will be represented? Sir, I am I am using router. I want to check the connectivity with the other router. I am typing ping. Okay, 20 dot Some IP I am typing. How the success will represent here? By using escalation mode. Escalation. Understood? Five five escalation modes. Okay. So how it look like here? It will be if, if it is a networking devices. If it is networking devices. It will be in the form of escalation mode here, like it, like this. Okay. This is called as what? Success. This is called as success here. Five escalation mode will be. Okay, this represents success. Clear? This represents success here. Okay. What about failure? How failure look like? Okay, failure look like in the network key devices. It will be in the form of dot actually five dots is nothing but what failure this is success and failure success this is called a success this is called a failure So listen properly, in the last few topics, we discussed about networking devices. In the networking devices, we discussed about type of networks. In the type of network, we see LAN, local area network. Let local area network nothing but network in a small geographical location. Right now, we are going to configure LAN. Okay, if you want to configure LAN, what are things required for me? We require networking devices. Okay. We require networking devices. And also this is called as end user devices, PC and all. Then we require a cable. We require cable. Finally, we require IP address. Okay. So we studied networking devices we completed. We studied about cables we completed. Then we studied about IP address MAC address completed. By using this, okay, by using all the things. We are going to create a LAN, LAN configuration we are going to do. Okay, so consider here, we are taking a switch. Okay, in the switch, we are connected with four PC here. The four PC are connected with the cable, to separate cable connected here, cable connected here. So if you want to make communication from one device to another device, we require IP address also. I assign the IP address for all the devices. Then I check, the, I, I am pinging, I, I am doing uh, check connectivity here. I am doing checking the connectivity here. Pinging from first PC to second PC. Ping 10.0.0.20 here. From my first PC 10.0.10. If I apply the command, if I get, okay, reply from, reply from, that is called as what? Success. If I get request time mode or destination host unreachable, 
failure. Actually, I'm sending what? ICMP echo request from source to destination. I'm getting what? ICMP echo reply from destination to source. If I get a reply, ICMP echo reply from destination to source is success. If I'm not getting, I'm sending the request. If I'm not getting ICMP echo reply, it's a failure. Okay. In normally in PC, laptop at all, success will be represented by a reply from. Exactly. Reply from 10.020. That particular IP address should be there. Reply from 10.020. Bytes. 30 bytes. That's the size of the packet. 30 bytes. Time. It depends upon the time. Delay. 12 millisecond. TTL is nothing but time to leave. How long the packet has to be available there in the network. That's called time to leave. Okay, time to leave. So, in networking devices, success will be represented. Success will be represented by, okay, escalation mark here. Failure will be represented by dot here. Okay. So, same thing, this configuration, LAN configuration, I want to do it in Cisco Packet Tracer. So, what is Cisco Packet Tracer? It's a simulation, simulated, okay, software for networking so it's freely available okay it's a freely available so you can go to okay cisco packet tracer cisco packet tracer download for windows or download okay net academy here you can enter into net academy there you can download there is an option available to download here okay you can check it you can download the cisco packet tracer from this net academy okay there, but other sites are also available. But if you have to download, you can download from Net Academy. Okay. So after downloading, okay, we it will ask for user sign in. We have to do sign in also. It will ask for username and password. Okay. After signing in, you can download the Cisco packet tracer. This is how it look like Cisco packet tracer. Okay. So in Cisco packet tracer, we can see the devices here. Okay. When you have when you click here, we can see the device here. When I click router, multiple routers are available. We'll, we are going to discuss about router later on. So, multiple routers are available. Here, uh, which router we have to take, sir? Okay, CC in a point of view, I can see 2620 XM router, 2621 XM router, 28, 28 router, the last three router you can use. Then, next switch, if I click switch here, we have multiple switches are available, right? Okay, multiple switches, you can say 2960, okay, uh, then we can say 3560, 3650, okay, multiple switches are available. In CCNA point of view, which switch we have to use, sir? 2950 model we use, okay, two, uh, 2960 also we can use, 3560, 3650, this point of switches we will use. Okay, normally we use 2950 model. Okay, in some uh, lab topologies, we use 3560 or 3550. Other thing, we can use 2960 also, we can use. Okay, you can use any. Next, other devices, like we have hub available. Okay, then we can say wireless devices, okay, security, other devices also available. Switch. Okay, PC, we can then comes to PC here. In the PC, we can see first one is PC, second is laptop, server. Okay, PC, laptop, server. Apart from that, we can see tab, smartphones, TV, okay, other devices also available. Right now, I want to create a LAN. This LAN I want to create. So, if this require what? PC require here, require for this lab, switch require here, cable, so cable also require for it. So, PC is available here. Okay, PC available. Where is switch available? Switch also available here. Then cables. We can, when you go here, cable, you can see the cable. We have multiple cable available. Okay. First one, I just move my mouse up here, mouse point here. You can see at the bottom, automatically choose the cable type. Can you able to see right? Here, automatically choose the cable type. Next cable, console cable. Next cable, copper straight through cable. Cropper crosser cable, fiber cable, multiple cables available. Okay. 
So we can choose the cable based on the device we connected. What device? Suppose for example, if you want to connect similar device, you can go for crossover cable. If you want to connect a dissimilar device, you can go for stator cable. But in Cisco packet tracer, there is easy, easy method available. Automatic choose cable type. This will automatically choose the cable type. Okay. So if you use this one automatic choose cable type, Cisco packet tracer will choose the cable type depends upon the device you are connecting. Okay. Now I want to create a LAN, right? So I want to create a LAN here. First bit. What I am going to do here? Just click here, drag here, drag and drop. Okay. Drag and drop here. Dragging and dropping. Okay. Dragging and dropping. We can connect here. If you want to connect switch here, yes, I can connect it. Switch also, right? Go to switch here. I can take a okay, 2950 model switch. Then I can take a cable here. Cable is a connect. Multiple cables are here. Clear? We can assign the IP address. We can check the connectivity from one device to assign the IP address. I want to assign the IP address. Before that, I want to, okay, I want to uh, note down this IP address also. There is a notepad available here. You can see the notepad here. Just click here the notepad. Okay, for reference, 10 10 Okay, notepad. Here I can say 10 20 10.0030 Clear? All the PC has been assigned to this IP. Then I can check the connectivity. Okay, one device to another device, I can check the connectivity here. Like a, here I, I click the select option here. Then I open a PC here, open a PC, go to my desktop. I can assign the IP address here. Okay, so one second I will show you. Okay, open a PC here, go to desktop, then IP config. There you can assign the IP address. Okay, so open a PC, go to desktop, third option is physical, config and desktop. Okay, in physical, config and desktop, third option desktop. Go to, uh, go to IP config. Okay, there you can assign the IP address. So 10.0.0.10. Okay, just press tab. Automatically, you will get 240.0.0. First IP has been assigned. Second PC, 10. 20. Tab. IP has been assigned automatically. Next, third PC, 10 desktop, IP config, 10.0.0.30. Tab. 10.0040 tab. Assign right. Now I want to check the connectivity from first PC to second PC. I want to check the connectivity first PC to second PC. Open a PC here. Go to command from ping command. Ping 10.0020. Okay. So I open the first PC. Then open a the desktop here. Ping 10.0020. Okay. Then I play 10 here. Enter command. I am ready for reply from 10.020 bytes, 32 bytes, okay, time less than 1 millisecond, TTL 120. I am getting the same here, right? What we discussed, okay, you are getting right, reply from, reply from, right? You are getting the same, right? So, same thing. If you get the reply, what is the meaning? Success. Clear? Suppose if I type ping 10.0030, what I will get? 10 to 30. It's a LAN connection, right? All on the same network, right? Whether they will communicate or yes. Okay, you can say reply from. Okay, you are ready. That's also good. You are sending four packet. You are receiving four packet. Okay, loss is sentiment zero. That means so complete success. Okay, 40. Yes, success. I am checking connectivity for all the devices, right? Success, 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 right? Now I am checking here the device which is not available here. Might be I can say ping 10.0.0. Okay, 60. It's not available here, right? The device is not available here. The what I will get it? 
Ah, yes. Request time off. Okay, you will get request time. Clear everyone? Get request time. Oh, I will show you in router. So, clear, right? Okay. One more concept we are going to discuss here. Okay. Right now, we have assigned with what? Same network, right? All are in the same network. How you identify this same network here? So, first you can take one PC. Okay. One IP address. What is the IP address you can take? Might be you can take here with a, okay. 10.0.10.0.10 is your IP address. So, one PC, right? Which class it belongs to? Class A. This belongs to class A address. Okay. Class A. How will identify this class A here? How you identify this is a class A address? How you identify this is a class A address? The first octet. The first octet starting with a 10 here. It range between 1 to 126. Okay. So it's class A class address. What is subnet mask for class A address? Subnet mask is nothing but 255.0.0.0. Okay, that is nothing but some means. Clear? We discuss all this. Okay. Suppose, okay, here, if you have 255 .00, which is your network ID and which is your host ID? Network ID, first one. First one is called as network ID. Right? Remaining things is nothing but host ID. Okay. Remaining things is nothing but host ID. 0 0 10 is a host ID. Okay, network ID remains same. I told you, right? Network ID remains same. It does not change at all. Network ID remains same here. Okay, keep the network ID here. Okay, remaining value as you putting 0 here. That means 0 dot 0 dot 0. That is called as what? Network address. What is the first IP? 10 dot 0 dot 0 1 is your first IP. First IP. Okay. 10 dot 0 1 is your first IP. Clear? So, what is the last address here? Last broadcast address, right? What is the last address? 255. Broadcast address. What is the last IP address? 10 dot 255 dot 255 dot 254. It is last IP address. Okay. So, which is your valid IP here? Which from which which IP to which IP is nothing but one to ten dot zero dot zero one two ten dot two fifty five dot two five is nothing but valid IP address because this first IP is lost IP right? So if the device are assigned with this IP address, understood here? The designed are assigned with this IP address ten dot zero one ten dot zero two ten dot zero that is all comes under same network, so they can able to communicate with each other. Clear? They can able to communicate with each other. So, if it is in the different network, they cannot able to communicate. Okay. For example, so I can say here, 20.0.0 is your network address. Okay. 20.0.0.1 is your first IP. 20.255.255.254 is your last IP address. 20.255.255.255 is the broadcast address. What is the range here? This is the range. Okay, this is the range of valid IP address in 20 network. So the device which is available here, they can able to communicate. The device which is available here, they can able to communicate. Okay, if you want to communicate from here to here, they cannot able to communicate in the LAN. Okay, clear? Very good. Now, now what I want to do, I want to take okay two PC here. And keep this setup here. So I want to take two PC here. Okay, first PC, second PC here. I want to connect with the cable. Cable PC to PC. Which cable we need to use? Similar device. Crosser cable available, right? Crosser cable we can use. Yes, we can use the cross crosser cable here. Crosser cable we can use for connecting. Or instead of that one, I told you simple method. You can go with what? Automatic cable. You can choose automatic cable also. You can choose automatic cable. Now I want to assign with what? I press here. So 10 dot 10 dot 0 0 10 here. 
So other end, I want to assign with 10.0020. 10 10.0020. Okay. 10.010, 10.020, I want to assign. Okay. So this one I want to do it here. Okay. Next setup. One PC. 10, 20 dollars 20 20 20 20 20 okay next setup 10 dollars 20 dollars 10 dollars 10 10 10 20 next setup okay this setup i want to do Okay, now here I open a PC here, go to my desktop, I want to assign some IP 10.0020. Open a PC, desktop 10.0020. Okay, this one I assign with 20.0010 here. Twenty zero twenty. Ten dot zero zero ten here. Twenty dot zero zero ten. Okay. So now I want to check the connectivity from one device to another device. I want to check the connectivity, right? Okay. So first thing, ping command I want to do. Here I want to assign the IP, I assign the IP address, right? Okay, 10.0.10 10 has been assigned here. Here 10.0.20 has been assigned. Okay. The LAN, both are in the same network. Okay. So they can be able to communicate, right? You can see here ping command from first PC to second PC, 10.0.0.20 here. Okay, I can get reply from. So success here. Similarly, 20.0.10, 20 20.0.20. 20 Okay, what is meaning here? 20 dollars 10, 20 dollars 10. Same, all the, all, both are the same network, right? So they can able to communicate. Okay, you can see here. So here, uh, if it is in the same network, if it is in the same network, they can communicate with each other. Okay, if it is in the same network, they can communicate with each other. So in this PC, in this diagram here, first PC 10.0.10, second PC 10.0.20, they can communicate with each other. You can see here, if I uh, if I ping command, if I apply ping command, ping 10.0.20, I am getting reply from 10.0.20. Similarly, if I do it here also, ping 20.0.20 here, ping 20.0.20, I can able to communicate. You can see, I can able to communicate. Okay. So they can able to come in because okay both are the same network here also 20.0.10 20.0.20 they can be able to communicate but when it comes here okay this one is 10.0.10 this one is 20.0.10 the LAN if they are in the different network they cannot communicate okay you can see if you open ping command ping okay 20 20.0.10 20 here okay from 10.0.10 to 10.0.10 to 20.0.10. If I apply 20.0.10 here, if I give enter command, okay, you will get a request time mode. Okay, a request time will get it. You can see a request time mode, request time. That means what? Okay, failure. No connectivity from your 10.0.10 to 20.0.10. Okay, so same network will communicate, different network will not communicate. So in this diagram, okay, suppose in this diagram we discuss in this diagram. This one is 10.0.10. This one is 20.0.20. Here I want to modify to okay uh, 20.0.10. 20.0.10 here. Here I want to modify to 20.0.20. 20.0.20. Okay. So open a PC here. Here I can say 20.0.10. I can assign here 20.0.20. Now tell me which one will communicate, which one will not communicate. So this one 10.0.10 can communicate with 10.0.20. 10.0.20 10 
So from this we understood that the land configuration, okay, land configuration, okay, we discussed about, okay, we discussed about how we can create a land, how can they can able to communicate with each other. So in this in this diagram also, okay, in this diagram we have four pieces available, right? So if I connect, if I connect like this, okay, I can set up one more setup here. Okay, so I want to connect the cable here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect three switches here. Okay, switch to the three switches I want to connect here. Okay, connecting cable here, connecting cable here. Okay, three switches. This is land, right? Multi how many ports are available here? 24 ports. If I have more than 20 pieces, 24 pieces available with me, what I can do? I have to choose another other another switches. Okay, if you want to connect 40, 40 PC, I have to go for 2 switch. If I connect 60 PC, I have to go for 3 switch. Because this port and all, 2950 model switch, switch here, we have 24 ports available. We have 24 ports available. If you want to connect more, I have to choose another switch. So then connecting switch to switch as a connecting here. But similar device, if you want to connect similar device, what cable we have to use? We have to use crosser cable. Okay, so here 10 rounds are attained, right? Here I want to assign, okay, 10 dollars 0, 0, 0, 50. Okay, here I want to assign 10 dollars 0, 0, 70. Okay, so I can be able to communicate from here to 70, right? So LAN, this also comes under LAN only. So ping command, 10 dollars 0, 0, 70 here. Will they communicate or not? From first PC to last PC. Yes, we will communicate. Can see here. Everything is comes under land configuration. It's completely land configuration. They can able to communicate. Similarly, any device can communicate. If you assign the IP address, might be here. You can set the IP address. 10 dollars 10 10 20, right? You can set 10 dollars 30. Here 10 dollars 40. 10 dollars 50. 10 dollars 60. You can assign. Okay, all device. If it is in the same line, they can communicate with each other. If they are in the different network, they cannot communicate with each other. Same network, they can communicate. If they are in the same same lab. Okay. So clear, right? Thank you.